Today I'm going to start planning out my January and I'm going to be using Wrong Wrong's Planner Babe to go ahead and do that. All right, let's get to it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today in another video. If this is the first time that you are stopping in, welcome, I'm Tina. And if you are returning, thanks so much for joining me again. All right, let's go ahead and talk about Planner Babe. I love, love, love this sticker book. Definitely going to need another one of these. It's so beautiful. Um, this is from Wrong Wrong. She sent me the sticker book and the PET tape. And let me first go ahead and show you what the sticker book looks like. I do have a detailed flip through of this um, in another video, which I will go ahead and link that for you above. But I just wanna give you a little bit of a glance. It's super, super beautiful neutral tones in here. There's all kinds of functional boxes. Of course, all of the beautiful deco that she has in here, her illustrations, her girls, and I just love this sticker book. I think this is a great book to use to really start getting like my 2024 planner ready. So I'm gonna be doing probably a series of setting up my 2024 Erin Condren Life Planner. And I'm definitely gonna be using this book to go ahead and do it because I love all of the neutral colors in here. And I like that there's like a little pop of flowers in here. And of course, her beautiful girls. So um, lots and lots of details in here. So cute, love, love, love it. And then um, today I'm going to be using this to decorate my January dashboard page. So that's everything in here. And then the PET tape, let me go ahead and show that to you. And if you're not familiar with her PET tape, it does come on a roll and it has a really long strip before it repeats on here. And it's just clear stickers. And the nice thing is, is that her PET tape is kiss cut. So it's just like stickers on a roll. I love that. And they are matte finish, so you're not going to have to deal with any of the glare, which again, is amazing. So we're seeing all of the same details that we saw in the sticker book. Some of the girls are larger in here, but if you kind of like the idea of just decorative stickers and you don't want any paper stickers, this is a really good option. Her PET tape is, oh my gosh, it's really been like a favorites of this year and I'm looking forward to seeing what other ones she's going to be bringing us for the new year. All right, so I already opened up the page here. This is my 2024 Erin Condren Life Planner and it has this dashboard page here and let me just show you if you're not familiar really quickly here. So here is January. I have some notes in there um, and then the back page here of the monthly is a notes page and then this dashboard page. I think I'm going to be changing things up going into 2024 for this notes page, um, but I'm definitely going to keep the dashboard page the way that I have been using it for this year. And the way that I've been using it is I like to create kind of a monthly master to-do list and I categorize things um, for myself and my husband. Um, highlights for the month, um, a list for my parents because I am a caregiver for my parents. And then I also like to have a little bit of a uh, list for my sister-in-law and my nephew because I do take care of him a couple times a week after school and various days throughout the month sometimes. So I just like to have a little list there so that way I have a, a place to put all of the things that I need to know about for this month. Okay, I wanna start pulling some stickers from here, but I'm gonna be grabbing my sticker storage album and I'm gonna go ahead and grab, um, I think I'll grab two sheets here because I like to pull my stickers and kind of get an idea of how I want this to get planned out. And this is like a perfect size for me to do a little pre-planning on. All right, so to start off, I'm gonna need some 
boxes. And I like to use these double boxes. These work really well. And I think I might turn this one like this. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna see how it plays out. But I like these two. So I think I'm gonna use this one to create the list for myself and my husband for the month. And then this one's gonna be my parents. And then I don't have another big one like this that I really like. I have this one, but I don't really wanna cut that down. And I want something with a little bit more color to it or pattern. So I think I want something with a grid. And then I'm gonna need a smaller box for my fourth category. I don't know, I might use this one, we'll see. But I think I like this one for, for this one. Oh, there's this one. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm thinking. You know what? This one's a little bit bigger. So I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'm kind of getting a little bit of an idea of how I want to lay these out on here. And I'm not sure how this is going to work, but there was a sticker in here that I really like. And I want to bring that in here. It's clear sticker. And it's something different that she's kind of introduced to us in this sticker book. Let's see, where did it go? It's this one right here. Look at how big she is. I really like that. It's just like a little corner view. She's holding her planners. And I thought this would be kind of cool in the corner here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with laying her down because I'm gonna kind of work this way. And I'm gonna be getting rid of uh, where it says January because I don't really need that. I know I'm in January here. So I'm gonna cover this up. Now, uh, Rong Rong has a few other things that came out in her December release. And there's like five other PET tapes. And then there is a sticker pack called Gatsby. Oh my gosh, that's such a fun sticker pack. I do have a plan with me of that up. So I'll go ahead and make sure that I link that up here so you could take a look at that. It's such a fun sticker pack. I just love that era. Okay, now this has got the little like trim here. So I'm going to actually cut that before I lay it because I want this bumped all the way up to the top. And I'm gonna grab some bigger scissors because those smaller ones, is, they're not gonna like get the job done for this. I just wanna kind of like follow along here. Okay, let's turn this. It's just gonna be a lot easier for me. And then I wanna take some of this tackiness off because this is a big sticker. And if I lay it down crooked and I need to pick it back up, then I should be able to do it a lot easier if I take some of the tackiness off. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to kind of bump it against this line here. Um, I was thinking about bringing it all the way to like the coil. The only thing is, is then I have to cover up that line. And I don't know. Okay, I think I'm just going to lay it like right on there. Lay it up there. Lay it up here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love that. Okay, I want to put like a little um, quote or something here. I saw something on the PET tape that I thought would be really perfect. This planning is my therapy. Oh, that's cute that sneaks like right in there. There's that one and then there's this one, which is, I don't call it a dream, or don't call it a dream, call it a plan. That's also an option, because that's a little smaller. Hmm, okay, those are options, and actually, let me pull both of these. I'm gonna just 
set them on my little pre-planning sheet and see what I go what I go with there. Grab this little washi strip because I really like the polka dots. It kind of breaks things up from like the plaid. And I'm gonna bring some florals in here. And I really like these. And I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different for this. I'm gonna take these off. And I thought that I would kind of, I think, cut these. So I have a strip above and then the rest of them like below. Let me cut this in half because I definitely want to do that. And I think I just want to have like a little peak of the flowers like coming through the bottom. So I'm not cutting it exactly like in half, but I think that's going to be good at the top. And then this will be good at the bottom. Um, but I realize I also need... I set that there. I also need some headers here because I'm going to need to put my headings on there. And I like to use these little boxes. So let's see what colors I want to grab here. Okay, so here, oh, there's like four colors right here. I guess I'll just grab these four. That's perfect. Okay. Okay. So I went ahead and I put that one down. Now I'm going to add the flowers here. Okay. And down here. Okay, I like that. Okay, now I'm going to bring in this box because I want this one under here. And I know I want that to go right there. So let's see. I really, really like this girl sitting on this bench, and I thought she would be cute here. But now I'm not sure because of that cart. Let's see. You know, I think I might change this box. I think I might move this one over here because I feel like this girl, I really like her, and I really want her in the um, corner here. And I feel like it's just weird with this cart on the top. So um, let me see if I can switch this out. Oops, I think I just tore it. Okay, let's see. If I get up like a corner really easily, then I usually have no problem. But let's see. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, so this one is definitely going to come over here. And it's definitely going to go horizontal because that's the way the cart is situated. So I'm okay with that. Um, all right. Yes, I like that. All right, now I'm going to grab this box and I'm going to put this one here. Checking this off. Okay. Now I can grab her and bring her over here. Oh my gosh, I like this so much better. Okay. It was just kind of bothering me. I thought that that was like, I couldn't put her here with that cart, like <laughs> sitting on her head. I'm like, no, that's not going to work. Okay. All right, so much better. I like it. Right, okay. So now I want to add some more florals down here. And I think I'm going to use this one here to do that. It's a little bit bigger. If I have it like right off the page, then I can just trim it down. 
So I'm kind of thinking like that. And then I will trim that. Um, and then I have this other box that I need to get in here for my last um, subject. So that's a good possibility. And then I could put a nice quote here. I think I like that layout. So let's trim this. Okay, so I'm gonna take the piece that I just cut off and I'm gonna put it over here. And I'm gonna trim. So now I still have this little floral that I can use somewhere else. And then I'm also gonna trim this because I really don't want that overlapping. All right, so now I have this little bit of floral and I could actually add it right here. I like that idea, however, I don't like that this black line is just like right, running like right through the flowers. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Now I can bring this in here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Okay, I like that. It's got like kind of like a lot of flowers, but I like the that it's a kind of like behind here. Looks like it's like just like the boxes are on top of the flowers. All right, so now I need to add my headings in here. So I've got four boxes, four headings, and let's see how I'm gonna do this. All right, so I think I'll do brown there. I was kind of debating, because it's like she's got the brown pants, it's just kind of like going right into the heading, but actually I think that works. Um, And then Ooh, I don't like that. I kind of wanted the brown to be on like the lighter pink, but I didn't want them like right next to each other. I thought it looked a little too like matchy matchy. Um, okay, and then this one I can easily bring over right here. And then this one. Huh, maybe I'll do it on this side also. I like it. Looks good. All right, now I need to go ahead and put the headings in here. Okay, so I have my headings here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add those in. So this one will be us, my husband and myself. And then this one is going to be this month. All right, so I've got my headings in there. And then now I'm gonna add in 
these little quotes. Don't call it a dream, call it a plan. And I'm gonna put this one up here. And then this one, planning is my therapy. I'm gonna use that one over here by her. All right, I like the way that is come together. All right, now I want to add in a, a little bit of elements in here. Okay, so I really like this little bag from the PET tape. It's just this little planner bag, and I thought that that would look really cute kind of right over here. So I'm going to add that in down here. And I'm gonna have to trim it, and I'm also gonna be having to trim some of the chair because otherwise the chair is kind of like coming through. So let me kind of do that now. It'd be easier if I trim it off before I lay that down, I think. Let's see. Oop, I think I have to come all the way in here. It out there. All right, that's so cute. All right, so I am going to move this planning as my therapy down because it's kind of taking, it's like leaving a really lot of space there. So I think if I bring it down, then it's a little bit more balanced there. And then if I wanna put something small in here, then I can do that. Up here, I definitely wanna add in something. I thought about moving this down as well, but then I thought, I really like that up there. I think that that's perfect but this definitely needs something in here. So I think that um, those pens fit in there really nicely. And then I could do glasses down here. Okay, I'm gonna grab these cute little glasses to go ahead and add in here. I think I'm gonna put them actually right there. And I want one of these cute little bows. This is so cute. These little like paper clip bows. How cute that is. All right, now I need to add in uh, my dots. I like to have three bullet points for this month. And then I need to add in my lines. All right, here it is. I love the way that this turned out. I did add my lines in my boxes here. Um, I did add this one little sticker in through here because it seemed a little bit um, empty right there for me, but I really like the way that that came together. Love, love, love the sticker book. There are so many beautiful elements in here as well as on the PET tape. And um, these items are available right now. They are part of Wrong Wrong's December release. So she released the Planner Babe collection. This is like the first first phase of planner babe because she's going to be coming out with some other items to go ahead that coordinate with that um, and be on the lookout for those in this release there's um five other pet tapes and there is a sticker pack and that one is so much fun that's the gatsby sticker pack i do have a plan with me up using that one so make sure um to go ahead and check that one out that one like i said that one's a lot of fun is like did a New Year's Eve spread for that one. And if you do decide to pick anything up from Wrong Wrong, I do have my affiliate link down below and it will save you 10%. So make sure that you get the savings. And I greatly appreciate when you use my affiliate link. It really does help me out a lot. So thank you so much to those of you that have already used it. And thank you so much for um, using it on your future purchases. 
I hope that you enjoyed this plan with me. And if you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do. That way you'll be notified when my videos come out. And I plan on doing a lot more with Planner Babe. I'm gonna be using this sticker book to really set up this planner for 2024. So I'm thinking I'm going to do like a little bit of a setup series. So if that sounds like something that you would like to see, comment below, give me your thoughts on that. And if you watch this video all the way through, drop me a glasses emoji. All right, thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.